Typically when it comes time to either removing or installing your wheel, you're gonna use one of three things to do it. Whether it's an air gun that looks like this, maybe you have an air compressor in your yard or something like that, maybe in the shed. Maybe you have a nice long ratchet. This is gonna give you some leverage to make sure you can get those lug nuts off and it's great. Or of course, if you were to get inside your automobile and be able to find your tire change kit, you're gonna be able to find the wrench that actually fits onto your lug nut directly. And any of these are gonna be great for removing the lug nuts, but when it comes time to reinstalling them, you need to make sure you use the torque wrench. And if you don't, there's a couple different things that could happen. You can either under torque your lug nuts or even you can over torque your lug nuts. In most cases, when you're working on a heavier truck like this, it's a more probable situation where the lug nuts are gonna be under torqued. If these lug nuts aren't torqued, the brake rotor is not gonna be tightly held up against the hub. So essentially every time you're braking or even while you're driving down the road, that brake rotor could be moving around. Essentially that's gonna cause a brake pulsation. It's not gonna feel very good while you're inside your passenger compartment. Now, if you over torque your lug nuts, you're gonna be putting more than the required amount of pressure on your mounting points, such as your lug nuts, studs, wheels, hubs, or even brake. 